there. Welcome to Facts About Everything. This week, we're looking at misconceptions. Today's topic is animals. Let's get started. Number one, the platypus is the only mammal that can lay eggs. The spiny anteater, also known as the pangolin, can also lay eggs. Number two, the platypus is harmless. Despite what it looks like, a platypus is actually venomous. I mean, it wouldn't kill a human, but it does sting like hell. Also, it'd be pretty embarrassing to go to a hospital because you got attacked by a platypus. Number three, anteaters are harmless. Okay, anteaters are very slow, nearly deaf, almost blind, toothless, and it only eats ants. How much damage could it really do to a human? A lot. People have actually been killed by anteaters due to their huge claws. If you ever see an anteater, stay away from it. Misconception number four, kangaroos are harmless. Despite the fact that kangaroos look really cute, they can be dangerous to humans. Their springy legs are so powerful that they can easily shatter your bones with one swift kick. They're also dangerous boxers and box rival kangaroos to death. Misconception number five, millipedes and centipedes are harmless. Actually, both of these insects have cyanide, which can be lethal to a child if it is ingested. Misconception number six, centipedes have a hundred legs. A 100-legged centipede has never been found ever, at any point in history. In fact, only one centipede has ever been found that had an even amount of legs. For some reason, centipedes have an odd number of legs. Misconception number seven, millipedes have a thousand legs. Obviously based off the word mill, as in millennium, people think thousand, although when I was a kid, I did hear it was 200. Either way, neither of those are true. Like centipedes, the number of legs varies. It can have over 100 legs, or it can have over 300. There is no set number. Misconception number eight, jellyfish propel themselves forward with their tentacles. No, that's an octopus. A jellyfish's tentacles are only used to catch and sting prey. Jellyfish move by taking in water through its bell and squirting it out, which jettisons it forward. Misconception number nine, you should urinate on a jellyfish sting. This misconception became very popular thanks to the TV show Friends. Why do we think Friends is a reliable source of scientific information? That was a great episode, though. There is no one cure for jellyfish stings. Every jellyfish has different toxins. Vinegar can stop the pain and infection almost immediately for one kind of jellyfish, but it will kill you if you use it for a different kind. The best thing to do is spray the wound with salt water, don't ever use drinking water, then wrap it with a towel, and then immediately go to a doctor. Okay, for these next two ones, I want you to do something. I want you, in your mind, to think of the name of a jellyfish. And if you think you're quite smart, try and name two jellyfish types. You got them? Okay. Here goes. Misconception number 10. The box jellyfish is a jellyfish. A true jellyfish has a bowl-shaped head, which is known as the bell. As the box jellyfish's name suggests, a box jellyfish has a cube-shaped bowl and would be classified as a cubozoan, not a jellyfish. Misconception number 11. The Portuguese man-o-war is a jellyfish. Not only is a Portuguese man-o-war not a jellyfish, it's not even a single species. It's called a siphonophore, which means it's a colony of organisms that work in unity. It's made of four separate polyps. Now let's look at some other animals that are not what they seem. Misconception number 12. Greyhounds are grey. Greyhounds are actually faint blue. The name greyhound comes from the German word greschend, which means old hound. Misconception number 13. A dormouse is a mouse. Some people also call this creature a door mouse, but it's not a mouse, nor is it a door. It's a gliridae rodent and is not a part of the mouse family. Conception number 14, black rhinos are black. No, they're gray. Misconception number 15, white rhinos are white. No, they're gray. Did you notice I use exactly the same footage for both of those videos? Lazy. The reason why these rhinos are so called is because their lips. Black rhinos and white rhinos are grey, but the black rhino has black lips while the white rhino has white lips. Misconception number 16. A mountain goat is a goat. No, a mountain goat is actually an antelope. Do people even try to name animals? Misconception number 17. The black mamba snake is black. Nope, it gets its name because the inside of its mouth is black. Misconception number 18. The black bear is black. No, black bears can be black, but they can also be white, brown, cinnamon, and sometimes even blue. Can we just fire the guy who's in charge of naming animals? Misconception number 19. Electric eels are eels. An eel isn't just any long serpent-like fish. An eel belongs to the anguilliform family. Electric eels are knife fish, which are more genetically related to goldfish and catfish than eels. Misconception number 20. 
A cat arches its back and hisses upon seeing a predator because it's angry and ready to fight. Most people know it arches its back to look bigger than it is, but that's not because it wants to fight, it's because it's terrified. It's a bluff. It's pretending it's really big because it does not want to fight. Misconception number 21. Cats should drink milk. Cats are lactose intolerant. Milk is more damaging to a cat than seawater. Misconception number 22. Dogs are colorblind. A dog's spectrum isn't as wide as ours, but they do not see things like an old black and white movie. They can see blue, violet, and yellow very clearly. The only strong color they can see is green. But green blind doesn't have the same ring to it as colorblind. Misconception number 23. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. This is just an expression that some people take seriously. Old dogs are capable of learning new techniques and tricks. Misconception number 24. Dogs have the best sense of smell in the animal kingdom. Bees have a better sense of smell than dogs. However, it's the African elephant that has the strongest sense of smell in the animal kingdom. Their sense of smell is four times better than a bloodhound. Grizzly bears are a close second. Misconception number 25. If a bear attacks you, play dead. Unless you can control your breathing perfectly while a 2,000 pound bear is sniffing at you, you're gonna get killed. To survive a bear attack, the best technique is to get naked. Hear me out. Take off your sock, place it on the ground, and casually walk away. Once it looks like it's starting to get bored, take off your other sock, place it on the ground, casually walk away. A bear will examine anything it finds for up to five minutes. So, once you're pretty much naked, you should be far away, which will give you a really good head start. The only problem with this technique is, uh, the bear now has your scent because you gave it all your clothes, and you're naked. Apparently, a bear can be distracted by toothpaste. Bears have been known to tear down entire cabins to devour some Colgate toothpaste. So, maybe bribe him with some? But the problem with that is, if you give him some and he loves it, he'll assume you have more. But you'd still be naked. Misconception number 26. Bears love honey. Although bears do attack beehives, they prefer to eat the bee larvae, not the honey. So, Winnie the Pooh is a liar. Misconception number 27. All polar bears are left-handed. This is one of those facts that sounds so random you assume it has to be true because who would make it up? But someone did. Misconception number 28. Polar bears came from the Arctic Circle. Daniel Bradley and Dr. Caradwin Edwards at Oxford University collaborated with Beth Shapiro to analyze the DNA of the polar bear and learned it originated from the extinct Irish brown bear. This means that all polar bears originated from Ireland. Misconception number 29. Polar bears and penguins live in the same area. They live in opposite poles. This is a bit of a double misconception because some people think, oh, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that the polar bears are on the North Pole and the penguins are on the South Pole. However, most polar bears actually are in Canada. In fact, there are some Canadian towns that have more polar bears than people. Misconception number 30. Polar bears are white. Each individual hair is a clear hollow tube called guard hair that looks white because of its reflected light. I wrote that polar bear fact in my book, 365 Things That People Believe That Aren't True. I receive more complaints about that fact than anything I have ever written. I've written 58 books. Overall, let's just say that's like 50,000 facts. That's the one that I've gotten the most abuse about. I've had to write detailed descriptions on Amazon and Twitter and everything to try and calm people down. There's even books called Polar Bears Aren't White. I thought that was the best fact to end this on because there's usually two ways to react to facts like this or misconception like this, which is the positive way where you go, oh, that's really interesting. I thought this, but actually this was true. And then there's a negative way going, oh, that's rubbish, that's garbage, blah, 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 and so on. See, the first one, you're just accepting it but you mightn't research it because I could be wrong, but you won't know. And the other person's just dismissing it where I've given it a shot. They could research it to prove they're right or wrong, but they don't. They just dismiss it. The reason they dismiss it is because they've believed something for so long that any alternative facts or even superior facts just seems wrong. If I just accepted other facts, I would have never found out any of these misconceptions. My point is, I don't want you to just agree with everything I say if you don't want to. If you feel like some facts are dubious, go ahead, research them. You could be wrong, I could be wrong. A few years ago, the panda, they found a gene in it and they realized it wasn't a bear, it was actually a raccoon. A few years later, they recategorized it as a bear, realizing that they made a mistake. 
You see, facts do change. I have to update these all the time because sometimes they can be true only temporarily and then they change over time. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and I'll see you tomorrow.